Hey, what's going on everyone? Mackenzie with LaFontaine Classics. I've got a 79 4x4 F-150 I'm geeked to show you today. We're gonna take it for a lap around the block. We're gonna show you the insides, the outs, and get you familiar with a little bit of the backstory on this Wyoming truck. This thing's got a, a creeper gear for number one. So we've been starting in two, up in a third gear. So I mentioned the engine has been rebuilt. The transmission was just redone too. It is a very tight and notchy gearbox. The relationship with the clutch seems to be right on point. Um, obviously, this truck looks the part on first impressions. We're gonna get up to speed and hit around a couple corners here in just a second. All right, first turn. It's a tall truck, a short wheelbase. This thing's very planted. Downshift in a third. Good torque. We're doing about 50, 55 right now. Dialed in. This truck feels great. As we roll over some of these turns and bumps, the suspension feels very good. The whole truck feels tight. Um, obviously, we're going to be getting some wind noise, but. Well, the radio's working. That is good. Oh. I'm hoping the audio can catch that blower motor cramming air through all these vents. I'm glad that is working well too. Um, straight, feels tight. Our gauges downstairs are all working. Everything in front of me looks good and well too. There's not a ton to it. Got a, a little whistling mirror over here, but this is everything this truck should be. And for its age, I think it drives incredibly well. There's very little play in the steering wheel. When you point it, it goes. And the disc brake she's fitted with up front, I mean, it stops this thing no problem. I'm not sure the curb weight of this truck offhand, but it is definitely not a light one. And without putting a ton of pressure into the pedal, it brings it to uh, a stop real easily, which is good. I'll start this time in the creeper gear number one, just to show you it's all working well. but. Uh, you, you top this thing out at about 10 miles per hour, but good for climbing up a hill or if you're pulling something and you need all that torque. That's about all you get. There we go. So we're going to get you in a little bit of an up close and personal look. This is the second year for this style body. Um, I really dig them. I like these grills, the lights, they're quite gorgeous. Um, this one here, these parts weren't put on yesterday, but everything is shining up very, very nicely. Um, headlamps look good. The bezels around them are nice and bright. Our little side indicators, those are showing well too. Our grill right here in the center, something kind of like an egg carton there. This shows very well. I don't see any cracks in it. Very, very bright. And this has a hood release. Voila, voila. So we've got a 400 in this one. It's actually a rebuilt engine. You see it's topped with an aluminum intake manifold, a Holly four barrel carburetor. Now I'd like to tell you about a couple of the amenities this truck features, and that is a power up brake booster, it's a dual master, and then just downstairs here, we have our power steering pump and our power steering box. Um, so this truck stops, starts, steers, really with ease, I think is the best way to put it. Um, we got our battery over here with a cutoff, because you know, we're not driving these things every day. Um, underside of the hood, the fender aprons, everything shows nice. You see a factory tag on here, 
Uh, talking about some of the option codes this truck has, and there's a few other items like that that still exist on this truck after all these years, which is cool. Horn, radiator, we got our jack on top of the fender. Pretty straightforward, but nice old truck. Glad to see everything is present. Hood closes up nice. Now this color, I love it on this truck. This is Wimbledon white. It's kind of a, an off-white color. And you see it's got some accents here. This is gonna play into the interior well. We'll show you that in just a moment. Now being that this is a Ranger, it's a trim level above the base model. You get all this beautiful bright work, unique badges, and the interior of the Ranger is really, really where you start to see the difference. Um, we got stainless mirror caps, great fitting doors with the door edge guard. Got a couple of tie down points on the exterior of these bedsides. A slick little fuel door here. This generation of truck, they move the gas tank from behind the seat up underneath the bed. So you got a little bit more room in the inside the cab, which is great. As we come out back, we see a couple more of those hooks. Gorgeous trim on the tailgate. The bumper looks great. This one has a two inch receiver hitch downstairs and just outside of that is our dual exhaust. It's dual three inch stainless tips. And check this out. So standard cab, factory short bed four by four. If you're like me, this is about as ideal as, the, as these get. They're really cool. They're fun, nimble, short wheelbase, and you can still use them as a truck. They look absolutely gorgeous. Now, these tires I want to talk about, these are a brand new set. Um, it's a five spoke mag wheel, polished up like you can't believe. And then we've got a brand new set of BFG KO2s on it. So it's an all terrain tire. And these ones are standing tall at 33 inches. Sliding rear glass back window. Great fitment all throughout like you'd seen on the driver's side of this truck. And the paint is smooth like butter. Oh yeah. And these doors open phenomenally. And look at these door cards. I love the red accent inside of here. Um, all the bright work on our latch or window crank. Looks phenomenal. I don't see any pitting or really any wear on that. Peek inside. See our nice two-spoke steering wheel. That is an original piece. It's got a wrap on it, um, giving you a little added cushion. On the column there, you're gonna see an auxiliary tack, being that this is a four-speed. It's nice to know where your RPMs are at. And then inside our gauge set there, you got all the factory gauges. Everything is working just as it should. And the lenses, needles, everything looks very nice and presentable. Just over to the right, we have our uh, blower motor controls. Um, this truck is not equipped with air conditioning, but you can blow outside air temp in here as well as heat. And we have our AM FM radio just beneath it. Ranger trim gives us some wood grain over here, looking very dapper. And you see a nice dash in red. I don't see any marks in here that are to speak of. Up on top of that, we have a great looking dash pad. I don't see any cracks in it. It's in very good shape. It's not warped. And there's a speaker just up on top of here. Now our mirror looks very good. Our headliner looks great. We talked briefly about the rear sliding glass. This is looking sharp. And then what really does it, you know, you could have a plain seat cover in here in your race model. The Ranger trim is just this very, very groovy pattern in here. Uh, just plays off of the exterior and interior, interior colors very well, I think. Um, just down below, you see all our lovely pedals, and up above that, have a couple of other gauges telling us about our vitals. So those are down low, out of sight, but when you need to know, you need to know, and that is going to get you uh, coolant temp, voltage meter, and oil pressure. Uh, right in the center here on our tunnel, we have our transfer trace transfer case controls. This is a dual range, so it's not full-time four-wheel drive. You can put it in two-wheel, four-wheel, um, low or high. And we have our four-speed shifter here. Just big kinked arm. This thing is really fun to roll through the gears. All right, in the back, behind the seat, we have a little bit more storage and a couple of aftermarket speakers adding 
to the one that came factory in the dash. Nice little wood boxes with them. Pretty carpet kit. You see this is a shoulder belt truck, which is cool. Thanks guys for making it to the end. If you want to dial us up, you can do so anytime at 248-714-2110. Uh, my name is Mackenzie with LaFontaine Classics. This thing looks like a dream. It drives like a dream. Check out the link we'll put in the description. That'll be our full listing where you can see the full photo gallery and the write-up on this truck as well. And while you're down there clicking like and subscribe, we look forward to seeing you in the next video.